Hello, welcome to our platform where we are providing mathematics to people that are preparing for their grade 12 exams as well as grade 9. So, please, in this presentation, I want to take you through these two questions. I think they were in uh, a 2000 paper, you can confirm, it should be 2000 paper 1. Okay, ECZ. So, how are we supposed to solve these two questions? And I identify questions where uh, students or learners make errors. Those are the ones that we concentrate on. Sometimes questions can appear to be very simple, but the way they are handled by most students, they make uh, common mistakes. Okay, so let us get to solve this question. Okay. These two questions. These are equations. These are equations. And it's very important to know what kind of equations you are dealing with because equations are in the uh, categories also. Okay? We have linear equations, we have quadratic equations, we have cubic equations, just like that. So you need to know uh, what kind of equ an equation is this one. And then that is what is going to help you get to know, determine the process that you are supposed to carry out in order to handle the equation. So let's get started. The first one is very simple. The first one is very simple. We already have two factors here. We have two factors and then equated to zero. We have two factors and then equated to zero. So this one is very simple. So when we have two factors equated to zero here, all what we are supposed to do is that each one of these factors we are going to equate to zero and then find the value of x. So what am I talking about? For instance, for the first one, we are going to say you get this x equal to 0, so we have x is equal to 0, or x plus 2 is equal to 0. Okay? These are quadratic equations, and the quadratic equation will always give you two values of x. Always give you two values of x. Okay? So we have x is equal to 0, or x is equal to now 0 minus 2. The additive inverse of a plus here is minus 2. So we have x is equal to 0, or x is equal to negative 2. These are the two values of who? x. These are the two values of x for the first one. I hope you are paying attention. Okay? Now, we look at a second example. I mean, the second question. One of you will be tempted, and it's very important. I actually advise that even before I do the, first, the second one with you, can you pause the video and attempt the question so that you compare with what you are going to do? And I'm sure one of us is already thinking that, okay, since here we created this one to zero, even here we need to say, okay, y is equal to three. Oh, no. That is not what we are supposed to do. Why? This is because in here we have a non-zero digit here. This is a three. So in this case, we are not supposed to equate each one of these two. Okay. So what we are supposed to do in this case now is to rewrite this way. We are going to have y multiplied by y is y squared plus y multiplied by 2 will then get 2y. This is equal to what? I have told you that these two equations are quadratic equations. So what we are supposed to do is to make sure that now in this form, this is a quadratic equation, how do we rewrite it? Okay, how do we rewrite it so that we achieve a standard quadratic equation? So, you know that a quadratic equation is uh, this one. Okay, this is a quadratic equation. So, how do we rewrite it, this, this one, so that we can have it in this form? So, when you say 1 squared plus 2 minus 3 is equal to 0. Okay? Then now, at this point, 
at this point we have the quadratic equation. So since this is paper one, this is paper one, and um, there's, there are ways that we can use to solve a quadratic equation. We have got factorization method, quadratic formula, as well as uh, completing the square, even graphical methods. Now in this case, this is paper one, okay? So the most appropriate method here, uh, it could be factorization or um, completing the square. Those two, may, we can work them out without the use of a calculator because in paper one, the use of a calculator is not allowed. Okay? So here we need to use factorization method. What do we do? Factorization method is where we say we find the product of the coefficient of y squared multiplied by this constant. What are we going to get? We get negative 3. This one multiplied by 1. Then the sum, what is our sum? Our sum is positive 2. We get this one here. And this is our sum. Then now, after this, we need to find our factors. We need the factors of what? The factors of 3, negative 3, rather. And those factors are a factor such that when we add them, they should be giving us what? Ne uh, positive 2. So what are those factors? The factors of the factors of 3, it's just these two. So the idea is that which one will be negative and which one will be positive. So definitely here we're going to have negative 1 and B positive 3. When we multiply these, they will give us negative. When we add them, they will give us what? Uh, positive 2. So now we use these factors to expand the sum. Where we have the sum, so we are going to say squared minus or plus 3y minus, because this is a minus 2, minus 1. This is the same as minus 1y minus 3. This is equals to 0. At this point now we can factorize this part using the grouping, uh, the grouping method. It's very important also to, to be familiar with uh, the types of factorization. Okay, so you can check one of our videos in algebra that talks about Factorization by uh, grouping terms, it will actually help. All these things here we have presented. The reason why we are revising these uh, questions now is because we have presented lessons for the entire syllabus from grade 10 up to 12. Hence, now we are just trying to help you uh, go through some of the questions that you may need. Okay? So I hope you are also looking at our lessons because we have all the lessons that we presented from grade 10 up to 12, as well as uh, the junior. So now we can group what is common here, the first two, it's y. So we're going to have y plus 3. Then here what is common, we factorize negative 1. Then you have 1, y plus 3. This is equal to 0. Okay? So from this point, we say now y minus 1, y minus 1. Then this factor is the same with pick one. Okay. So now, have you seen? Now we have reached at a point where we were with this one. We have got two factors equated to zero. This is where we were on the first one. We have got two factors equated to zero. That is where we were with the first one. So what we are supposed to do in this case is to equate now each one of these factors. To what? To zero. We equate each one of these factors to zero. Okay? So we're going to say y minus 1 is equal to 0 or y plus 3 is equal to 0. So this is going to be y is equal to 0 plus 1 or y is equal to 0 minus 3. So our y will be equal to 1 or y will be equal to negative 3. Are we together? 
this is what we are expecting. These are our answers. Okay? These are our answers. And I hope we are getting the concept and um, you are followed. Okay? The idea is that these things you must understand them. And that is why we always provide our phone numbers, just in case, even as we present, we have made a mistake and you may want clarification. Okay, so thank you very much for watching and we check other videos that we have also presented. Please don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to comment and like the video. Even me, share with your friends. Okay? Otherwise, we are always grateful that you watch our videos and uh, please continue to do so. Okay, until next time, goodbye.